Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And we are doing some more pages in this wonderful, chunky, fantabulous junk journal. <laughs> if you love junk journaling like I do, then you want to make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out. You can also go ahead and hit that uh, thumbs up if you are so inclined to do so. You can do that now, during, or after, but you know, just in case you're going to forget, go ahead and hit that like button. We're trying to get this video to 10,000 likes. And I also wanted to mention, if you're looking for junk journals or uh, some junk journal ephemera, you can head over to PleasantCreations.com. So uh, the first thing I decided to do in this layout is to do a bit of hunting and gathering. So I took out some magazines that actually these are not magazines. They are brochures that I collected while I was out on the road. So anytime I'm going down the highway, I'll usually stop at a rest stop or two, you know, to do your usual thing. <laughs> And while I'm there, I'll go ahead and I'll grab a few brochures. Now, sometimes in those brochures, I can find like some uh, really cool looking words in there. You can find words that have a uh, motivational type of, uh, they give you like that motivational type of feeling. And you can also find some images as well. So brochures are a great way to... Uh, kind of find things to put into your junk journal because you know technically I'm just going to say that these will actually be kind of trash because you know you look at them for a few minutes and then they end up being trash so they're perfect for junk journals because you know I love putting junk in my junk journals <laughs> so I just continue on and I keep looking for things and sometimes when I do my junk journaling I'll do a bit of hunting and gathering before I start I don't use everything that I actually pull out of the books and the magazines and the papers and all that but at least I'll have them ready to go and I also don't cut everything all the way down. Sometimes I just tear out a few pages and then I'll put those pages into my junk journal drawer. I have a few drawers where I have been collecting up things. So you can actually just use a folder or something like that to just collect up some items that you can use later. And then that way when, you know, that junk journal itch kind of hits you, you'll already have, you'll have a few pieces that you can actually use. And then after I go through and I pull out everything that, you know, I, I want, you know, after I've pillaged and plundered the book, <laughs> then I'll go ahead and I will toss it into the trash. But you know, it's all good. Oh, I also wanted to mention if you want to see this video in its entirety, you can head over to the Patreon channel and that's at patreon.com slash list for a day where I post up lots of different and exclusive content. Now, the next thing I'm doing again, I'm kind of hunting and gathering in this respect as well, is I am going through my little pouch and just kind of figuring out if I want to use these little pieces. So with this, I decided to kind of make a journal card. And I had some ticket ephemera that I've made. I have these little scraps of, I call them desk fabric. Because <laughs> sometimes I end up with a lot of little pieces of fabric on my desk. And I wanted to use those as well. I even thought about using that envelope, but then I thought against it. I always wonder how people who do the junk journaling um, on their channels, they usually just go right to what they already want to do. But for me, it never works out that way. I always have to kind of look through things and just kind of let the pages kind of speak to me and the pieces kind of speak to me as to what I'm going to do. Now, 
that little black piece or big black piece there, that strip of paper, it came off of a bullet journal that I purchased. And I was really trying to figure out how I could use it. And then the envelope that I had there, I got that from some happy mail. So again, I was trying to figure out how to use that as well. So what I decided to do was to turn this piece into a belly band. And y'all know me, of course. I took out the whippersnapper. And for those of you that don't know who the whippersnapper is, the whippersnapper is my SQ9185 Brother Sewing Machine. And I love that sewing machine, you all. It is like one of my absolute favorite studio items here in the list studio and I love zhuzhing all my pieces up and I love how you know the stitching it just kind of gives everything like that extra finish look I say that over and over again but it just makes everything extra special and that's why I use it and then I also just kind of sew things on here to this little this was actually a page out of a Afghan no it was a cross stitch book I had to think about it for a second <laughs> and then I had this picture as well that I wanted to kind of put a frame around so I decided to do some sewing around that as well I figured I could do like all my sewing at one time this was just a card that I got out of a cardstock pack and it was one of those tearaway cards so I decided to zhuzh that up as well and do some decorative stitching y'all look at the decorative stitching on here Y'all, the whippersnapper is quite amazing, I have to say. <laughs> now, this piece right here, this came out of a magazine. And it is like a bouquet of flowers. And I love the way the bouquet of flowers came out. So I'm taking the envelope that I was looking at a little bit earlier and I took off the stamps because I knew I could use those later. I'm, I notoriously take stamps off of junk mail and any mail that I receive from other people because it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. So what I decided to do was to glue on this journal card onto my envelope here and instead of like gluing it all the way down, I wanted to make it into a pocket. Y'all, the reason why I'm talking so slow is because it has been a while since I recorded this video. <laughs> so now I am trying to uh, trying to anticipate what I'm looking at and tell you how I felt about these pieces, which I still remember like it was day one, but um, sometimes I'm a little slow on the uptake. Y'all know how it is my public school education and stuff <laughs> so here I'm going to go ahead and make this into a belly band and I'm just using some double stick tape because I wanted to make sure that this didn't come up I you know I mean even with some glue I think it would have been okay but I did glue this down to a piece of vellum and anytime I adhere things to vellum I always use the double stick tape as opposed to any wet glue because the vellum actually it'll wrinkle up and it doesn't really accept glue um, that well now over on the other side of the page I'm just trying to figure out how to use that big book bouquet of flowers it looks so good when I put that sewing around it y'all I loved I loved how it came out and now I'm using some of my poipo glue and someone asked me if uh, this was my favorite glue and it kind of is at first I was like no this is not my favorite glue but I guess it is kind of for this application yes it is and I love the purple glue because I can actually see what I am doing when I'm putting the glue down so that's quite nice so next I wanted to put this envelope into the middle the spine of the book but this washi tape that I pulled out as you can see it didn't rip properly so I decided to just put that at the top of 
the envelope because I'm going to make this envelope into a pocket, you all. I love making envelopes into pockets and it gives you like some extra space to kind of tuck some things in and that's always fun. All the interactiveness of the junk journal I think is what I really really enjoy. Now I'm putting on some extra glue just to make sure that this piece doesn't come out in any way and I, I can tell you I flip through this journal like nobody's business and I haven't had any pieces fall out. So I'm going to have to say that's a win. I did a fantastic job of adhering things into this particular journal because it became quite fat. Now, I also wanted to use the stamps, you know, why I saved them for later. And I decided to use some distressed ink and just to go around the edges to kind of give it a frame. Because that's my thing. Frames are my thing. <laughs> and it just kind of makes each piece stand out on its own. And I just stuck this down with some of my glue, my favorite glue. And I didn't want to put it all the way at the top because I just felt like I could put something else at the top of this page. So I decided to just cover the flowers up just a little bit and I was okay with that. Now I also wanted to put the washi tape on the other side of the page as well because you know if you do it to one side you should do it to the other and then that'll definitely... You, it will definitely and it surely, assuredly, I hope I said that right. Grammar police, don't come get me. <laughs> I hope that will assuredly uh, keep this down. So I used uh, two um, pieces of washi, long pieces of washi, because, you know, I have lots of washi and I have been doing a fantastic job of using my washi. I haven't purchased any. I've just been using it, so I'm quite proud of myself. So you all... Give me a thumbs up for using my washi creatively. It makes me excited, I have to say. So I wanted to put this picture in that pocket, but it kind of didn't look right all on its own in that pocket. So of course I gave it a little bit of a frame and it's actually a picture of some botanical journals that I did and I just kind of lined them up and took a picture of it. And I decided to make this into kind of a tag. I took out some pink twine and I also wanted to make sure that this didn't come out well. This is probably more decorative than anything else because I, you know, having that eye light, eye light, <laughs> having that eyelet in there uh, really wasn't so much for protection because I knew I wasn't going to be like pulling this out or yanking it out or anything. So I wanted to put it in there for decoration and then I stuck this a lovely pink and white twine in here and just put a little bow on it and that way at least when I go through the book I would know that hey I have something inside of this little pocket on the side so I love using that particular technique and I wanted to make sure that the bow stayed so I used some of my Tombow aqua glue uh, in this as well and I actually don't use that glue that much, but um, sometimes it works out just perfectly, just like it did in this particular instance. So I wanted to do a little bit of journaling on uh, this little makeshift card that I had here. So I pulled out my Sharpie ultra fine tip pens and these are my go-to pens when it comes to doing my journaling i just love the way it writes really smoothly and no this is not a sponsored video at all i just always love using the sharpie pens and i always make sure i keep them all together so that they are easy to uh, locate and then i could just pick whatever color i want and of course i would love to get some more colors but you know I have to wait and until it fits into my budget before I get some more because I would love to have more colors. So here's the little envelope and I actually got that at the dollar store <laughs> and that's what I keep all my little junk pieces in and I do have uh, like two drawers that I have more pieces of things that I can use. So I have right now an unlimited supply 
<laughs> it feels like an unlimited supply of things that I can use within my junk journal. So now I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to use these numbers that actually came off of some products that I had a long time ago. And for some reason, I kept those tags because I love repetition. So I decided not to use those, but then I tried to figure out, okay, am I going to use, what am I going to use? I don't know. Y'all, this is the for real thinking process. This is the Liz thinking process here. Because not all the time, it's not all the time that things just kind of come to you. Sometimes you have to kind of think things out. And that's what I was doing when I did this particular layout. Now that piece that I just glued down, that's part of a digital kit that's up in the shop. And that is my faux fabric pockets. And they are so beautiful. They make absolutely beautiful backgrounds for anything that I use them on. So I wanted to make sure I put those up um, so that I can share those out. So you can get those over at pleasantcreations.com. Shameless plug. <laughs> now I took out some of the pieces that I you all saw me hunting and gathering before I got started. And I decided to use some words at the top. See, I knew there was a reason that I was going to leave that that space up top. I knew there was something that I could put there to really kind of like, you know, make things look just perfect. So it says, you're going to love it. Now, I don't always have a rhyme or a reason for the things, like the words that I put in here like I did on this one, but um, I think it just went really good with like the flowers in here and the stamp. It just, it was perfect. But then I wanted to add some fabric as well, because y'all know I love fabric. And I like sewing the fabric in, so of course, I took the whippersnapper out. <laughs> and I did a little sewing on there after I uh, did some smooching, because you know, got a smooge, got a smooge, got a smooge for, to have that frame around this particular piece. And then I uh, sewed around it. I wanted to bring you all along with me today. <laughs> so y'all can watch, you can share in the sewing, not just watch, but you can share in the sewing. Of course, this is a voiceover, so you don't get to hear the, the hum of the sewing machine, which I quite love the hum of a sewing machine, I have to say. If you all love a hum of, the hum of a sewing machine, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know what your favorite part of these layouts are. I think that envelope in the middle is mine's, but yeah, you know, I, I just love all the sewing personally. <laughs> do you do sewing in your journal? I know I'm asking a ton of questions. Y'all just, just leave a comment below and let me know. <laughs> that came out quite nicely. I actually used two different lengths of the same decorative stitch on that particular piece and it came out just perfect for me. Now I got to use some scrap pieces of fabrics in this layout. I got to use some magazine pieces, some junk mail pieces as well because we used the envelope and also we used like those little doggy stamps on it. Those stamps are so beautiful. Even use some washi tape that one might throw away. We use that as well. I'm still thinking though, I'm still thinking that maybe I want to put just a little bit more on here. The page doesn't feel finished to me. So I get some more washi tape out because I have plenty that's sitting next to me. So. <laughs> I'm kind of giving it like an eyeball try on which washi tape I would like to use. And not only did I have some washi tape in the drawer next to me, I had like this little container that has some washi tape also. So a good little trick if your washi tape is not that sticky is just to put a little bit of stick glue on the back. Now, yes, that glue is purple, but as you can see, the purple is dissipating quite quickly. It's going to go away, and I'm not going to have to worry about that. 
Now, this is a fabric washi tape that I had, and I wanted to kind of use some of that. And I love how it looks on this particular piece. That kind of really was what it needed. It was kind of plain, even though it had the sewing on it. But once I put that fabric tape on there, let me tell you, <laughs> I couldn't keep my fingers off of it because it felt so luxurious and beautiful. So I took out my tiny words and I decided to use some of those on these layouts as well. But I wanted to uh, give my tiny words a bit of a frame. And I'm using some chalk, um, some chalk inks that I have. I guess they're called chalk inks. I can't even tell you what the brand is. And even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you because they are very crappy. But they're good enough for small jobs. But they're definitely some, they're, that's the worst buy that I ever did. But I'm able to still use them. So I wouldn't recommend them to y'all. If I don't like something, I'm not going to recommend it. So you can bet that. <laughs> so I put quite a few of these tiny words on this layout because I just felt like it needed more. You know, you know when stuff will I'll let you know when it's finished. And then I was thinking, what can I put? inside of this belly band so I got one of my flash cards and I didn't do anything to it at this moment um, I just stuck it inside of here and I stuck my little my little photo back in here also in here in the pocket that is <laughs> so that is pretty much it it. I hope you all enjoyed this. Please make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite part of this layout is. Also, you can head over to pleasantcreations.com and pick up a journal and some ephemera or two. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. We're trying to get 1000 likes. And with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet lotus blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.